Hi, we're here with Ramon from the USB Implementer Forum looking at a new demo of uh, USB 3.1. 3 uh, what do we have here? So we have uh, a demonstration of the first device silicon that implements USB 3.1. From Asmedia. It's over there, that's the silicon right there. From Asmedia. And it has two USB, uh, SATA RAID uh, connectors on it because we can't saturate the 10 gig link with just one SATA drive right now with SSD drives. So we have two of those. And uh, we're doing, we've got a, a, a host FPGA version, so this is still um, uh, a work in progress. It's got uh, a real PHY, so the PHY is actually uh, a silicon PHY, but the host controller is still in FPGA mode. And that's from Asmedia. And that's from Asmedia as well. So we're going to run the, the demo, and, uh, you know, we've got, a, we've got crystal dust mark here. I'm just going to run a quick demo. So we started and see what the read and write speeds are. Uh, so remember, this is early first generation silicon you know, s engineering sample is really not uh, final end products. And you can see we're already hitting like 800 megabytes per second with uh, USB 3.1. And what is the fastest uh, that we get today with USB 3? So with USB 3 today, we get about 450 megabytes per second. That's the fastest drive we can get today. Uh, so, so almost double. Yeah, almost double. And we, we actually will we expect this to reach over 1,000 megabytes per second before we see shipping products. Wow, impressive. All right. Okay. Yep. Go to the next demo. Yeah. So we are, you know, we, we all we all like the fact that you know it's, it's no wires and and, uh, and and that's where everything is going. We want to get to the point where we can do uh, all our communication without having uh, uh, a wire to, to, to tether us to the uh, to the device we're talking to. So here we've got an example of media agnostic USB. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn. I'm taking off the uh, the cable. I'll turn it on. And the weapon to my own. There we go. And this device doesn't really have, uh, it just has uh, no storage of its own, right? It's, it's only its own storage, but no uh, USB card attached to it. Now we've, gone, we've made the PC appear as if it's an external USB drive, media agnostic, which it doesn't, it's connected over Wi Fi to this uh, phone. I'm going to go ahead and open a file, Explorer Astro File Manager. Look for it, and then you know I've got a I've got a, a song on it. I'm just going to go ahead and click it. And where is the song file the living? File is living on the PC over there. It's actually oh. a drive. It's appearing as a drive. Wow. So is this how is it establishing this connection over Wi-Fi? Over Wi-Fi. It's yeah. Wi-Fi running media agnostic USB. Ah, I see. So it, it could run over a cable or not. It can run over a cable or not. Yeah. It can run over Ethernet, USB cable, optical cable. Any cable you have, any, any yes. medium you have. So it's media agnostic. Media agnostic. Right. And, uh, and, and, the, and the beauty is we are using the existing drivers for the mass storage on here. We're not, we're not written new drivers for mass storage or new drivers for other types of peripherals. You can use the existing peripherals that you have, uh, existing drivers that, that, are, that come on the platform for Linux or Windows or whatever, but just running over a different medium, in this case wireless. And so it's simultaneous mm -hmm. each way. It's not only music, it's data, right, whatever. Whatever you want. Photos, videos, 